Oh, Alex Dibling. Look at his hair. Alexander! <laughs> He's ready to fight. He's a wild man looking to get the jackpot tonight against this man over on the other side of the ring. Valid Ishmael. Valid Ishmael! Look at that stare. Look at those eyes. One of the most intense players in the game of mixed martial arts. Wow. They, they had some interesting things to say at the press conference. Valid said, we're going to go to war. And Alex said, okay, we can go to war. And now they're, they're really, there's a lot of ego here. Oh, yeah. They're, they're going to touch gloves in the air. Oh. Expect some bombs in this one. Valid is going to want to get the fight on the ground, in my opinion. It would be a smart thing to do. Alex has been working on the stand-up. He's been working on the stand-up with you a little bit, Boss Root. Yes, he has. He came to, whoa, nice pull, you see. He doesn't lean on his front leg anymore, which is very good. He came over to California to train with me, and then yeah, for like two and a half weeks, he stayed in my house. He uh, got the call in like five days at the end that he was going to fight the lead. And that was big news for me. He was so excited. He was dancing in the gym while we were busy. He was doing all kinds of moves. He loved it. Bali driving hard for that single and Alex defending. And Alex will not give that takedown up, boss. No, that's a very smart thing to do because he just, why would he play Bali's game? You know, he's got the hooks there. He's doing a great job. Bali's going to use a lot of energy here. And one thing we know about Alex. He's got a lot of stamina. He's a young kid, and he really likes to fight. Like I said, he was dancing. He enjoys it. He told, he told me, he says, boss, I love to be in the ring. It's fun for me. I love it. But Valid does get the takedown, and now he's in a real high guard there of Alex Stiebling on the bottom. Alex is going to try to try for a triangle already, but I don't think it's going to happen with Valid. No, not anymore. And Alex, <laughs> if anything, at least his hair is on fire at the moment. That's one thing for sure. There he's going to set up, look right here, he's going to set up the armbar. Uh, Alex Stop, don't move, don't move. has don't some move. very interesting things to say about uh, Valid Ismael. He said that every time you come in, it's a personal battle, not just technical. And he said about Valid Ismael, he's an ugly SOB. People are afraid to fight him because they think the ugly will rub off on them. <laughs> That's a great one. He said, I cannot lose, I'm too pretty. I'm too pretty to lose. And he said he stayed away from the strip clubs for at least five weeks in training for this fight. Yes, that's right, because we didn't go to any strip club. Yeah. Boss Rootin here with Stephen Quattros, live for the Pride Fighting Championship. Bad blood, and there's a little bad, little bad blood in between these two guys right now. Yeah, I think so too. He has some blood on his hair already, but... We know it's not his own, and it's funny. No, this uh, game, he's going to work a lot from the bottom. He's going to try to make Valid tired, because he hopes that age is going to play a factor. And uh, that would be the smartest thing for him to do. I think so, too. The fact of being that Alex Stiebling at 25 years old is nine years younger than Valid at 34 years old. And Valid really needs this win to really jump into another big fight. There's a lot of good guys in this 185 to 200 pound division. Alex is coming right in at about 195, and Valid is just under that at about 187, 190. Yeah, Valid's going to make one little mistake. Alex is going to stand up. He's got some uh, great reversals, great escapes, and from some uh, impossible positions, sometimes he just stands up. So Valid better watch out. Then again, yeah, this position is not a lot that Valid can do. I believe that he can knock him out. And he really has to uh, try to go to the side bar to go for submissions. And I think that's what Alex wants, you know. Try to pass my guard, that's what he says. Then he can escape. Well, I think the bottom line is that Valid did get the takedown. Valid is in the guard. Uh, Alex is striking back from the bottom, though, and trying to tangle up that arm to so think about an arm bar. But Valid, both men are actually fighting a good fighter. Yeah, they keep it very busy, but this is going to take a toll later on in the fight. 
Yeah, yeah, but then again, you know, it's Alex's game plan uh, to do so. But Valid told us the only fight that he lost here was because he had a jet lag. In the last two fights, he came in very aggressive. And he came in eight days before the fight, so the jet lag is totally out of the system. And he feels very, very strong and in very good shape. Well, it's, it's interesting you mentioned game plan with, with uh, Alex, because Alex says he never has a game plan. And he said, I can submit my lead if I want to, but he wants a KO. Yeah, he loves the KO. He uh, actually has a very, very natural ability as a striker, as a boxer. He's got a great right hand. This it comes out later in the fight. You see, this is what he wants. Oh, no, triangle choke attempt, but uh, Valid is probably not going to uh, fall for it. Yeah, he's got this uh, right foot also between, between Valid's legs. It's not going to help. Both men have incredibly strong corners. Valid Ismail does have the legendary Carlson Gracie. Also, Luis Alvarez, the noted Muay Thai trainer from Brazil, and Daryl Golar from the United States, who moved to Brazil. He's a great wrestler. He is uh, helping out uh, all the Brazilians there. Look, that was a great uh, attempt to uh, sweep Valid, but the ropes were there and he threw Valid against the ropes, so it didn't work. He should try to do it again now. And Valid trying to do a real fast scoop to the right and pass the guard, but he doesn't get it. And uh, in Alex Diebling's corner, he's got uh, the very capable Ryan Stout, Chris Lytle, and Daisuke Ishii. And he's managed by Phyllis Lee. Uh, uh, Alex has been trained also by Sakasem Fairtex from Thailand in his Muay Thai. Very noted uh, former Lupini Stadium champion. Yeah, he uh, worked on a lot of kicks also with him. Uh, he's, uh, Alex really likes him. Uh, he, he gives him, he tries to prepare himself. Last time he took the fight on like 10 days notice, and he, or a week notice actually, and they, he called his trainer, Sakasem, and he asked, man, can you get me ready in one week? He said, okay, let's go to Salt Lake City. Now let's do it. I can get you ready. And he did. That's interesting, Bosch, that when he trained with you, your training was not contrary to Sakasem because Sakasem pr primarily trained on how to kick a knee, and you worked on his punches quite a bit. Yes, I did. And you know what? I, I, I told him, I said, maybe we shouldn't do it because Sakasem doesn't like it. He says, no, no, no. Sakasem is real open, and he only wishes me to be to become to be a good fighter. So that's, that's pretty cool. Well, there's some interesting notes. Uh, aside from this fight, uh, we got Stiebling in the bottom and Valid on top in his guard. Stiebling had this to say about the pride middleweight champion, Vanderlei Silva. He said, I'm sure me and Vanderlei will have our day in the ring. So I think there's some, something boiling there. Yeah, they have the, he's trying to pass the guard, pushing him away, but Valid won't let it. He's pushing himself back into the guard. That's the wisest thing to do for him. And like you said, uh, Stephen, they had a little incident on that airport. Talk about Vanderlei. We're talking yeah, the Vandalay incident together with uh, Alex, and Alex actually still doesn't know what, what's going on there. He's doing it again, pushes the head on the, the feet on his hips, but he cannot get him off. But it doesn't matter because it takes a lot of energy away from both fighters. Okay, occasionally we'll have a uh, noted judge, Matt Hume, with us scoring, but we don't have him here at ringside now uh, with us doing commentary. But Moss, on the scoring situation, who would be winning this fight and why? Okay, we got um, we got them both working real hard. I, I would say, you know, at least to, to, to square it even, make it a, a draw in, the, in this first round. Uh, of course, Valid got a takedown, so maybe that should count something, but Alex is constantly attempting to, to push him away. Even though it doesn't work, you know, he's working, he's working, he's working. But Valid is really busy with the strikes. Very busy, so maybe this first round, at this moment, would go to in favor of Valid. I would agree with that, because right now, Alex is striking occasionally from the bottom, thinking about submissions, but Valid is really savvy with the defending submissions. Being on top, Valid likes the top. Uh, that was a good right hand there by Valid Ismail. We got two minutes left, and Valid trying to pass the guard of Alex Stiebling. Yep, it's going to be very difficult. Alex is very good at that. I think, uh, stamina, I think stamina is definitely going to be a factor in this fight. Valid using a lot of energy here. But he's in tremendous shape. Alex is no stranger to having to fight long fights, hard fights. He, before he was in the Pride Fighting Championships, uh, when he beat Alan Goes, before that, he fought in the IBC Venezuela. And that was the 
He Head fought time, four man, fights man. in one night. Yeah, his first fight was a brawl. Whoa, look at this. One shot to the body. It was a dropping back fist kind of thing, hammer fist. But still, you know, if you breathe in and somebody hits you at that moment, it hurt. Yeah, this, this fight, I want to see what's going to happen if they start out in round number two, because now we're really going to see what kind of energy they do away. There's been a lot of energy spent out here, folks, as Boss alluded to. With one minute left, Bali trying to get side mount. He's already passed half of the guard of Alex Steedling. Yeah, if I was Alex now, I'd put, put my right foot Hook my right foot under Malik's uh, left leg and then bridge with your left to the right. That would be the best situation, the best thing to do. And Alex looks like he's going to get the guard again, but Alex is uh, content to be on his side here and just block punches. And Valid passes the guard into side mount finally. It took him almost 10 minutes to do so. And Valid does like that side choke, but I don't think he's going to be able to get that with uh, so little time remaining. His former teammate, Alan Goes, tried the side choke against Alex, and Alex the center. Well, Alex is going to get his back. That's what I told you. He's standing up from a really strange position. Alex has got his back now. Alex has got the whole one. Oh. 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 End of the round. Alex worked his way around and got the back of Valid Ismail. Valid is going to be thinking, wow, what happened there? Yeah, and that cost a lot of energy, especially when somebody tries to escape and you try to hold an escape and it doesn't work, it takes a lot of energy out of you. We got some rest now, we see Alex here. He's breathing heavy, but I saw him breathing heavy in training. He recovers real fast, like the last time in Alan Goish. I want to see, ah, here we got him. Um, Valid. But we don't have a shot of Valid, okay. Uh, here we got Valid going up, heels on him, defending by Alex on the bottom. Real good tactics there, Valid trying to Ball his way to a strike, not missing most of those. And here we got another exposed guard by Steveling on the bottom. Set it up for me, boss. Yeah, he's, he's working. He's putting the, the feet on the hip. He tries to push him away. Now he could go for a triangle, but he, he doesn't really want to do it. Put his foot into the middle. Alex is a real good open guard, too, a butterfly guard. It's very difficult to pass. But against a jiu-jitsu expert like Valid, it's uh, maybe not wise to do. Yeah, well, Alex Steedling uh, is really in a fight here with uh, Malid Ismail. Oh, yes, he is. We were showing that he was putting his mouthpiece out. I, I, I was shocked that he didn't have it out before. You want to get as much air in you as you as you can. You, can't have that with a mouthpiece in you. We just recently, 10 seconds away, threw his mouthpiece out. Okay. He's ready. Okay, now, you you mentioned that uh, Alex Steveling has got a real good straight right punch. Straight right, left short uppercut hook. It's a, it's a combination of it. Sit I'll down. bet we're going to see that now. I'll bet we're going to see Second that. Out, please. Although there's a lot of been grappling going on, so there's a lot of been pulling. If you pull a lot, it's very difficult to strike. Down. Okay, we are here at ringside Sai Thomas Super Arena. Second round, Valid backing up now. Uh, looks like Steedling is going to want to uncork that right hand. And there's the low kick and a knee to the head. Look, that's the right hand. Ooh, knee to the solar plexus, he's got it. And there's a small back, Valid, that knee took something out of the boss. Oh, good move by Valid, got the takedown. Yeah. Alex doesn't want to go to the ground now. He doesn't. He's going to be on top now. Got to really watch out. Well, he really has to try to pass. That, that would be his best move. He doesn't want to be in this situation. And this is the first time ever, Pride Fighting Championships Bad Blood, that we are coming to you uh, live via satellite. And there's going to be many more to come from us via live because one of the problems with Pride before was there was a time delay. Yep, that's true. Now it's only eight hours. Alex can actually do a, a lag lock on Felicia. Uh, Whoa, look at this, look at this, look at this. What is she going to do now? Oh, man, oh my God, I've never seen this before. That is a crazy move. <laughs> it looked like a pro wrestling move, but it actually could work. Oh, he puts it over his hand. Whoa. 
Are we gonna tap? No, he's not gonna tap. He is very tough. Now they're getting into the advanced pretzel configuration. There you go. There you go. Wow, this is a, a situation that I've never seen as much as it's the pretzel move. It's the advanced pretzel move. I've never seen this before in my life. There's even pro wrestling can come up with situations like this, I think. <laughs> Somebody's bleeding. It looks like Valid is bleeding. Uh, Valid gonna work into a traditional guard by Link after a wild pretzel move. Upside down crucifix attempt. Backwards. Alex Stiebling was called the parent when he fought in IBC Venezuela because he had blue hair. He's got flaming red hair and blonde in the back. Uh, when he came in uh, to the Pride Fighting Championships number 18, the Japanese audiences nicknamed him the Fighting Brad Pitt. Right, get make, make him stop, make him stop. Because he looks a, he looks a certain way, he's a handsome guy, he's in there, but it comes to rumble. He's really a corn-fed guy from uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. 25 years old, a real, real good technical grappler, and Bali Ishmael is finding that out. And a very inventive grappler. Very inventive. He makes up things, very crazy things. He's got good submissions, and especially good escapes, like we saw with in his fight against Ellen Goers. Um, Bali is doing a good job. He tries to pass the guard. He's doing a good job. If he's in the guard, he hits. This half butterfly guard is really difficult to escape. From Alex because I tried it. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's very difficult. But I think right right now we're, we're getting into like a, a, a certain pattern in this fight. Uh, I think one or the other of the guys has to really make a move here. We're only in the second round. We're uh, less than two minutes left. And I think it's going to be a real close fight if it progresses like this into the third. Somebody's got to really make a move here. Yeah, I, I think the second round, the way it started out with the knee strikes he had and everything, could be a favor for Alex. But then again, Valid got the takedown. So, um, and in the pride, we know uh, it's not counted by rounds. It's counted by the whole fight. It's just at the end of the fight. It's the most effort in. And the most important thing in the scoring is, as Matt Hume is told, look at this. Very nice! Oh. Up kick by Alex Steebling. And Mali back in the guard. Alex whacking away at the ears of Mali and Ishmael. Uh, as I was saying before, the most important thing in the story is uh, the fight goes to the man who's trying to end the fight. Yes, I, I think that's uh, good. It's sometimes not a, like if you have a real dominating round number one and round number two, you put a lot of effort in, and then, and then at the end, because the other guy... You know, just defended everything. It comes out with a blaze, and he wins. Then I, I don't think then it's fair. But like this right now, it will be perfect. They're both going real fast. There we go. Standing up now. Expect, expect the sprawl and a knee there. Knee, 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 knee. Knee, 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 Seen those knees knock people out in the Pride Fighting Championships. A very conclusive weapon. Whoa! And again, same finish as round number one. Okay, now we're not going on a round by round system as you said, Mod, but Alex stole that round at the end with the knee. Oh, he did for sure. No! No, age is maybe gonna be a factor. Maybe not. What's gonna happen right now? We see the lovely ring girls going through the ring. And there we got Valid covered by the Sky Perfect TV man. Uh, now we got him. He looks tired, but he stands up. He doesn't want to show it. He is tough. He is one tough SOB. That's what I can say for sure. We run. There's Ooh, our right, right hand. Valid tried his own right hand there. They got tied. Knee to the plexus. There's, Whoa! That was right there, actually above the sole plexus on the sternum, and beautiful crawl there. But Valid. Really uh, trying to defend against the knees and gets that takedown. Yeah, he got the takedown because he was holding the. He grabbed his pants. Did you see that? Yeah. Maybe it would be good for Alex not to wear this kind of shorts anymore. He wears those shorts uh, as respect to his Muay Thai trainer. They have Psychotron Fairtex written across the front of him. An interesting uh, turn at the very last 10 seconds of that round where Alex busted loose from under got on top and started throwing those devastating knees. Valid took them and kept fighting, but I think they took a little bit out of Valid. 
I think so too. This is a great fight. I think the the, the, the knee to the body hurt him. I really think that hurt him. And he's gotta he's gotta recover right now because five minutes is a long time if you're tired. That's one thing I can tell you for sure. Uh, five minutes uh, the Pride Fighting Championship, all fights are contested under the three round system. First round is the endurance round of ten minutes. The second and third rounds are five minutes each. Third round coming up will be five minutes. Valid looks the worst for the wear. He's got quite a bit of a mouse under his right Second eye, boss. Yes, he does. And from this side, you can see, you see, Alex is ready. He was already jumping for like the last 30 seconds, ready to go. I think Alex is just going to start boxing here. He has to. If to take down, it has to. And valid has got to take him down and keep doing what he did in round number one. That's the need. Oh, my God. Oh, some hard knees. Valid is hurt here. Valid is in trouble. Valid going for the single. The knee. Valid looks like he's almost bleeding. ready. And he's bleeding. We he's see blood coming out. I don't think Valid is going to tap. I think Valid is in trouble here. He's got to get out of this position. He's going to fire his carry on the ground. And now they're in another pretzel position. Jesus, this is the weirdest positions I've ever seen in my life we see in this fight. Should Valid go for a bigger four toe hold here? Yeah, but that would be that would be strange. Being uh, Alex very uh, very known in leg loss, maybe he could go one on himself with the leg that he's holding there with his left arm. But he's got to go. Valid holding on for dear life. We get a little incident here, right here at our table right now. And Alex chopping away with elbows to the body. He cannot lose that takedown, and Valid needs the takedown. Yeah, this is, this is one fight. Valid is trying to smother him, trying to smother the strike, staying close. Alex has got Valid's arm trapped with a figure four there under. Alex should loosen up that, that uh, triangle there and stand up. Yeah, he should do for sure, and otherwise cross face, please try cross face to get up, but I don't know, Valid has a really short leg, if a cross face is going to work on a guy like Valid, he's very, very strong. Valid really looks tired here. Yeah, and Alex does it, so it's, yeah, it's probably going to be a big factor. Okay, I think Alex should let go of that triangle over the arm, sprawl back, and stand back up. There you go, not drop. Otherwise, this is going to happen. He's going to be on the bottom again in the guard. But we're, we're working into another pretzel position here. We got three minutes to go. There's got to be something that's going to happen now for both of them. One of them has got to make a move. Alex trying to roll backwards. Alex on top now. He should underhook here. Very nice, very nice. Grab your leg, climb the top. Beautiful reversal there by Steveling. Steveling going for the back of Valid Ishmael. Steven getting the one hook in, boss. Yeah, I don't know if he should go for a submission or mount him. Should mount him. Okay, now Steveling, he's got a side choke on him or not? No, he's pulling it out. For the first time, Alex Steveling on the ground on top. You gotta get some distance and start to strike. That's exactly what I want to say, Stephen. That's what he needs. Create distance. Crossface. Valid holding on. Exactly. The crossface is the key here. He's gonna get him out. He's gonna get him out. Now Valid trying to dig in, but he's taking a little bit of pounding. Crossface now again. Punches to the ear there by Stephen. Stephen still on top. Stephen in control. Stephen right now should dig his right hand in and cross face him to the right. Oh, he's like going for an arm bar, which is not a very smart thing to do. No, not against Bali. Bali, if anything, right now Bali seems to be an automatic pilot. Those punches have nothing on them. Looking maybe to survive. Steven's got to get standing again. Yep, he's got to do something, make a crazy reversal at, at, at the end of round number one and two. Unless things have uh, changed drastically, he may have stolen the fight anyway. But yes. if he wants to be conclusive, he's got to do more damage or even stop Valid. 
He said he could submit Bali, but Bali has been really tough. It's have to give, give him any, any openings whatsoever. Yeah, he's a black belt. He, he choked out Hoyce. Come on, this, this guy. Very well run in submissions. You don't want to. You don't want to play his game. Why? Why should you? Right. Alex has got to. Alex has got to get back up. Bali laying there, inactive. I wouldn't be surprised if they lay there too long. Well, one minute left. They're, they're probably not going to restart him. But Alex pushing up. Oh, up kick. Up kick there. Another up kick. Oh, whoa. He almost nailed him with one of those up kicks. Beautiful. That was excellent strikes there by Alex Steedman. He should make a turn out just for the impression. Just to impress the judges again. We're almost at the end of the fight here. Steedling has done quite a bit of striking in this round early on. Been standing and now from the ground to the bottom. Valid has moved around but hasn't done much other than achieve a few takedowns. I would have to say that at this point, Steedling is going to get the fight. Yeah, I think so too. What an effort, though, by both oh, of these both guys. Fighters. Both both fighters. guys, an excellent effort. They fought a ground fight, but they went to war on the ground, as Valid had predicted. It's going to be a war. What a, a huge amount of respect. Whoa. Alex helping up Valid. A lot of respect there. I think that they may have come in, they may have been doing some bravado at the beginning at the press conference. They were yelling at each other. And here we go, slugging it out. Alex with the oh, knee, he took, a, oh, took that knee right on the chin. It wasn't right on the tip of the chin, it was right on the side of the jaw. And Valid went for the takedown, and Alex chopping away with the right knee there, boss. It's beautiful. Everything is textbook right here. Valid uh, did a very good job also. He tried to keep the ground, keep the round, don't get up. And especially in round number three, it was very difficult to do for him. So that, that should count for something too. Okay, and here we go to the judge's decision. Alex Steedling has pulled out a unanimous decision over Mali Ismail. That's a big win for him. Now he's 2-0 in the Pride Fighting Championship. Yeah, he is, but he doesn't look happy about his performance. Look at him, he sets up the the camera. That, that camera actually doesn't have any microphone, so we cannot hear it.